So I just wanted to take a moment to talk about how I'm feeling right now and, and, and what's going on with my channel and, and what's going on in the world. Because I think that maybe I may share some similarities with a few other people. You know, I'm <clears throat> right now there, there basically is no channel. Right now I'm basically talking to myself. Um, I've got a few videos up, not a lot going on. I've been wanting to do this for months and months. Um, I've been working towards this for months and months and, and, and learning, you know, music editing and getting back into my instrument again and, and video editing. Um, and <clears throat> now we find ourselves in this pandemic along with the most incredible social upheaval I've ever experienced in my life. For any number of reasons, I kind of feel like now is a real good time for someone like myself to just take a back seat and let things happen. I don't mean that to be, I don't know, I don't mean that any other way than what I said. There's a time to listen, and this is it. Uh, but at the same time, I have this overwhelming need to create something new, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. Why do I feel so compelled? To write something new and the reason pure and simple and this is not a new thing this is not a post George Floyd experience I've been experiencing this for a long time um, is uh, you know right now I don't want us to look at the news because there's not a lot of good news out there but certainly if you don't want to look at the news you look at the old stuff right you look at some stuff you, you watch an old movie you know hang out whatever great so I'll do that when I do that, um, I find it just covered in racism that I never noticed was there. Or not even that I didn't notice was there, but I excused. You know, I, a few years ago, bored, looking for something to do, flipping through channels after everybody's gone to sleep, go to Amazon Prime, and oh, there's uh, Blazing Saddles. <laughs> Watch Blazing Saddles. I didn't get 10 minutes to that movie. I didn't get 10 minutes into that movie, and I was already so embarrassed by ever laughing at it, I couldn't even believe it, you know? Um, and there's a lot of stuff like that right now, and there's even more now, post-George Floyd, now that we're talking about how Black Lives Matter for real, um, you know, I see it everywhere. And I don't expect anybody to shed a tear for, you know, Mr. White Straight Male, I get it, you know? But uh, just as a statement of fact, it, it hurts. Get nostalgic and just find the nostalgia covered in racism. Do I expect anybody to feel bad about it? I don't. But on the off chance that you feel the same way as me, you know, it does suck. It does hurt. Um, we got to give it up. Uh, we got to let it go. And we've, you know... I got to accept the things that we let slide in the past that we can't let slide anymore and we have to do better. I think it's a poison. I think it's not just about it's, you know, it's a poison that hurts other people and kills other people, but it doesn't do you any good either. It really does. What is the point of being afraid of black people? What is the point of spending your life clutching your possessions when another person walks by? It's a poison. We all need to let it go. But looking back on the past can be hard. So I just need, I can't look at the news. I don't really want to dwell on the past. I need to move forward and I need to create new music. So that's just my thoughts and, and where I'm at. And, you know, uh, I hope someone else finds this cathartic, perhaps useful, perhaps worthy of discussion, perhaps. Please, if you don't feel the same way, Tell me, comment, say something. Thank you, everybody. Talk to you.